see today's topic is NA sites non steroidal non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs we can call it a <coughs> NA sites so this NA sites that will reduce the pain pain nothing but analgesic property okay NA sites also reduces the inflammation hence we can call it a anti inflammatory what is the inflammation nothing but a redness and swelling we can call it a inflammation next it will reduces the body temperature hence we are called as a antipyretic <coughs> okay these are the properties of NA sites next see narcotic analgesic drugs that will act on the central nervous system okay non narcotic or non opiate drugs that do not act on the central nervous system okay when comes to the inflammation when comes to the inflammation see this is a normal skin so this is a normal skin <coughs> so this is a normal skin on to this normal skin if pricking of any needle or something some harmful object into the body then what will happen swelling will happen see this is a normal skin the skin can be raised above the normal level hence we can call it a swelling okay <coughs> so in this part pain also there so in this part pain due to see here nerves will be there <coughs> see when this harmful object enter into the body it will releases some chemicals those chemicals it will come and it will stimulate the nerves there thereby people will feel the pain next one is warm nothing but heat <coughs> heat we can call it a color this is due to the increased blood flow see here you are observing see from here to here vasodilation will be there okay because of this vasodilation what will happen sir heat we people will feel that inflamed area is a heat next one is redness due to vasodilation redness is due to vasodilation also we can call it a rubber redness also we can call it a rubber swelling we can call it a tumor okay pain we can call it a dollar so all these are all of these are signs of inflammation redness heat swelling and pain so all these are the signs of the inflammation next whether pain is good or bad pain is good or bad see pain is always it is good because it will informs the information see for example if our teeth is get damaged then how we people can come to know see <coughs> how we people can come to know means whatever the pain produced in that particular teeth that can be the information can be sent to the central nervous system in that central nervous system <coughs> in that pain region we people will feel the pain okay when the information can be passed to the central nervous system thereby we can pursue there is a pain in that particular teeth so thereby we people will take any care or anything or administration of any medicines or anything so like that it will be so pain is always good for the body okay next comes to the phospholipids phospholipids that can be converted into arachidonic acid see phospholipid that is there in the cell wall <coughs> sorry cell membrane <coughs> phospholipid that can be converted into arachidonic acid again arachidonic can be acid can be converted into different types of prostaglandins in the presence of enzyme cogs so two types of cogs enzyme is there cyclo oxygenase we can call it a cogs see cogs one enzyme it is present in blood vessel kidney stomach and platelets okay this cogs enzyme is responsible for the production of thromboxin a2 a2 nothing but aggregation of platelets responsible for the ag aggregation of platelets and the regulation of blood flow next <coughs> prostaglandin d2 so prostaglandin d2 that is responsible for the dilation next prostaglandin e2 e nothing but enteric so responsible for the enteric protection nothing nothing but to prevent the ulcer okay if the, this gat is there this can be coated 
this G8 can be coated with prostaglandin E2. Hence, we can call it a <coughs> enteric protection. Next, pro prostaglandin F2. F nothing but focus that is IE. It will reduces the intraocular pressure. So, hence can be used in the treatment of glaucoma. Next, prostaglandin I2. I2, I nothing but inhibition of platelet aggregation. I nothing but inhibition of platelet aggregation. This is the function of prostaglandin I2. Okay. Next, COGS enzyme. That is COGS2 enzyme. It is constitutively found in brain and kidney. Means it is always there in brain and kidney. But this enzyme can be synthesized when we people will require. At what time it is get synthesized means during the inflammation during the inflammation the inflammatory mediators like prostaglandin I2, E2, thromboxane E2 and, and other mediators tumor necrotic, necrotic factor alpha ILS so all are these mediators that will <coughs> that will responsible for the synthesis of COGS2 enzyme if COGS2 enzyme is synthesized that is responsible for the pain fever and inflammation okay pain fever and inflammation all these things with respect to the cox 2 enzyme so majority of the time if you want to treat the inflammation we need to inhibit the selective cox 2 enzyme we need to inhibit the selective cox 2 enzyme see if you are inhibiting selective cox 1 then what will happen is the other physiology of our body is get altered Next, lipo, lipo oxygenase, we can call it a logs. See, <coughs> arachidonic acid can be converted into 5 hydroperoxide tetra enoic, okay, sorry, ecosa, ecosa, e nothing but ecosa tetra enoic acid, okay, that can be convert, converted into 5 hydroxy. 5H nothing but 5 hydroxy ecosa tetra enoic acid. Okay, that can be converted into further can be converted into leukotriene B4 that is act as a chemo attractant. Next, <coughs> leukotriene A4 okay, 5HP ET can be converted into leukotriene A4 again further convert into C4, D4 and E4 so what is the action means for the vasoconstriction and branchioconstriction along with that leukotriene A4 also having the property of <coughs> leukotriene A4 can be responsible for the synthesis of leukotriene B4 thereby it will act as a chemo attractant property next lipoxin A4, lipoxin B4 okay a4 B4 both responsible for the vasodilation and inhibit the chemotaxis okay next comes to the pain so different pains are there types of pains one is physiological pain that is caused by heat and chemicals organic chemicals okay inflammatory pain that is caused by infectious agent like bacteria and virus okay neuropathic pain injury to the nervous system caused by some viruses so like this different types of pains are there when comes to the pain management if mild pain is there then we need to prefer the drug non opiate nothing but NSAID plus analgesic adjuvant still the pain is pers persisting then we can call it a moderate pain for that we can take less potent or non less potent plus or minus non opiate nothing but NASID you can take or analgesic adjuvant you can take means less potent opiate drug we can use in case of moderate pain still the pain is persisting we can call it a severe pain see <coughs> potent see potent analgesic we need to use along with non opiate nothing but NASID NASID we need to use or analgesic adjuvant with or without plus or minus nothing but with NASID or without NASID. 
so here why potent opioid is not preferred in mild or moderate pain means <coughs> in mild and moderate pain we people cannot uh, prefer the uh, potent opiates because this opiate is having the property of drug addiction <coughs> next non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs <coughs> see drugs that can be two types one is steroids containing drug that is cp3 unit cyclopentano parahydrophenanthrin ring so this ring we can call as a cp3 ring next one is non steroids or no cp3 units non steroidal drugs nothing but any sides we can call no cp3 unit <coughs> so this <coughs> two types of drugs are there one is steroid another one is non steroidal drugs when comes to the drugs classification any sides non selective cox inhibitor <coughs> non selective cox inhibitor category salicylate example is aspirin okay propanoic acid is example is ibuprofen naproxen ketoprofen fluorbuprofen phenamate that is mefenamic acid enolic acid derivative that is pyroxicam tenoxicam acetic acid derivative ketorolac endomethacin nebumetone <coughs> next pyrazole pyrazolone derivative that is phenylbutazone oxy phenbutazone <coughs> next one is preferential cox2 inhibitor <laughs> that is nimusolide diclofenac aciclofenac meloxicam and, and etado etadolac <laughs> next one is selective cox inhibitor that is silicoxib silicoxib etoricoxib <coughs> and pericoxib next analgesic and antipyretic with poor anti inflammatory action drug that is paracetamol <coughs> paracetamol metamizol propifenazone nifopam so that is about the drug classification <coughs> next see use of any sides in children is not is a not common for junival rheumatoid arthritis or antipyretic action <coughs> see however aspirin and any sides <coughs> see however aspirin and any sides should be avoided in children should be avoided in children and teenagers that is age 13 to 19 when suspected with influenza or chicken pox because this aspirin it, it will cause us a raise syndrome that will cause us liver and brain damage okay then what are the safer nsaids to be used in children's means nemonic is pin paracetamol pin nothing but paracetamol i nothing but ibuprofen n nothing but indomethacin <coughs> okay so nsaid this is nsaids so salicylic acid derivative so salicylic acid where it is so this portion we can call as salicylic acid this group we can call as salicylic acid in sulfa salicin okay acetyl <coughs> here also salicylic acid is there okay sodium salicylate salicylic acid is there so here also salicylic acid is there diflunisal okay next one is aryl and heteroaryl acetic acid derivative see one carbon two carbon okay three carbon <coughs> this is a aryl group hence we are calling as a acetic acid derivative okay here 1 2 3 okay so here also acetic acid is there here also acetic acid okay here also acetic acid is there that's why we can call it acetic acid derivative next indole and indine acetic acid see indole structure means this one is indole this is a indine so this is also indole only 
example endomethacin sulindac see here in indole and indole derivative in here it is not mentioned hmm. next anthranilic acid derivative so anthranilic acid is this one so this is anthranilic acid amine group with carboxylic acid this is anthranilic anthranilic acid so this is anthranilic acid so anthranilic acid derivative so enolic acid enol in nothing but double bond ol nothing but alcohol like that in and ol alcohol and double bond so enolic acid derivative <laughs> okay so these are the drugs already we have discussed now only same drugs with presentation i have shown here next what is the difference between non selective cox inhibitor and selective cox inhibitor see non selective cox inhibitors okay non selective cox inhibitors that is having the analgesic property antipyretic anti inflammatory property okay anti platelets GAT side effects are there, renal toxicity is there. But when it comes to the selective COX inhibitors, that is also having analgesic, antipyretic, anti inflammatory, but no antiplatelet action. And GAT side effects also less, but it is having renal toxicity. So, always selective drugs that is having eliminated side effects because of its selective action. So, next comes to the drugs. next comes to the drug that is sodium salicylate okay <coughs> yet nothing but it is a negative charge it represent negative charge salicylic acid nothing but this structure this structure we can call it a salicylic acid sodium is here so always we need to write cation first if the cation is there we need to write first if it is anion we need to write at the end so sodium what is the two hydroxy second position see the numbering <laughs> two hydroxy benzoate two hydroxy benzoate so that is the salicylic acid derivative next aspirin okay this is the structure of aspirin see acetylated see acetyl group can be added to the oxygen atom hence we can call it aspirin acetylated salicylic acid so this is the numbering see why we are starting numbering means here carboxylic acid is there carboxylic acid is the major functional group highest priority so we need to start with numbering from carboxylic acid next side effects of aspirin see the side effects of aspirin mnemonic is aspirin only a nothing but asthma s nothing but salicylism p nothing but peptic ulcer or, or platelet aggregation or nothing but ray syndrome very important they have asked in gpat 2009 next i nothing but intestinal disturbances okay n nothing but noise the, that is tinnitus so all these are the side effects of aspirin next comes to the mechanism of action of aspirin see this aspirin it is contain acetyl group this is the this is the enzyme this is the enzyme that contain OH group this acetyl group can be transferred to that that can be transferred to the OH group of enzyme so the enzyme will become inactive now enzyme from the active state that can be converted into inactive state by transferring acetyl group next diclofenac okay next one is diclofenac so here diclo nothing but 2 chlorine 1 and 2 chlorine is there fin nothing but phenyl group this is a phenyl group next ac nothing but acetic acid 1 and 2 so acetic acid so like that the structure it is when it comes to the numbering first we need to identify the functional group amine group is there carboxylic acid group is there <coughs> so automatically we need to give the numbering to the carboxylic acid <coughs> so
so first we need to give numbering to the acetic acid 1 and 2 then we can go for the phenyl group that is 1 2 second position is substituent is there hence 2 we need to give okay after that that chlorine containing phenyl ring like that it is so second position the second position of acetic acid so this is a we can call as acetic two carbon containing carboxylic acid is acetic acid that can be attached to the phenyl group okay that phenyl group that is containing <coughs> what it contains 2 comma 6 2 position 6th position chlorine is there hence dichloro analino aniline group Ni amine group on benzene we can call as aniline so analino phenyl acetic acid so that is the IUPAC name for the dichlorophenac next ibuprofen so ibuprofen nothing but isobutyl group is there so this group we can call as isobutyl group is there next propyl group 1 2 3 carbon content so propanoic acid here next fin phenyl group is there so that is the name of ibuprofen when it comes to the numbering first it contains acetic acid only acid functional group is there so always start the numbering with acid 1 2 3 okay next phenyl group so this is a numbering for phenyl group next again if you want we can give 1 2 3 that is for a isobutyl group okay now when it comes to the IUPAC name propanoic acid okay three carbon containing propanoic acid that can be attached to the phenyl group okay on this phenyl group what is there two methyl okay second position it is containing methyl group hence two methyl propyl three carbon containing propyl phenyl propanoic acid these two indicates this second position this fourth position is here next naproxen so naphthyl group so naphthyl group is there naphthalene okay pro propyl group is there that is propanoic acid propanoic acid x e n xen nothing but o x nothing but methoxy group is there methoxy group is there along with E nothing but double bond so double bond there in case of naphthalene so naphthal group prop propyl group and oxygen group that is methoxy group is there next comes to the IUPAC nomenclature functional groups are ROR that is ether group next one is carboxylic acid next one is carboxylic acid group okay then here numbering is started with carboxylic acid okay after that naphthalene so this is a numbering for the naphthalene we people will get out sir why we cannot start numbering from here so we cannot start because here one carbon is get missed so one two three eight so now the IUPAC nomenclature is propanoic acid first we have identified prop propanoic acid at second position what is there at second position this entire substituent is there what is that entire substituent six methoxy sixth position it contain methoxy naphthalene en c naphthalene 2 oil second position of naphthalene is substituted to the propanoic acid hence 2 oil so this is the na naproxen next mephenomic acid mephenomic acid it is containing methyl group okay methyl group is there phenyl group is there okay next amine group is there okay next 
एसिड दैट इज बेंजोइक एसिड एक एसिड ओके दैट इज मेफिनोमिक एसिड दैट इज बेंजोइक एसिड हियर ओके व्हेन नेक्स्ट कम्स टू द आईयूपीएक नाम एंड क्लीचर फर्स्ट वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स अमाइन कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ओके सो अमाइन विल गेट लीस्ट प्रायोरिटी कंपेयर टू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड हेंस वी कैन स्टार्ट नंबरिंग फ्रॉम द बेंजोइक एसिड so this is the numbering next next numbering is to the so here benzoic acid so this structure we can call as a benzoic acid okay benzoic acid amine group is there amine group is attached to the benzoic acid then to this amine group what is there we need to write n 2,3 डईमिथल टू कमात्री डईमिथल ओके डईमिथल फिनेल मीन आंड पोजिशन आइट्रोजन वाट इज देर टू कमात्री डई मिथल टू मिथल ग्रूप इज देर फिनेल ग्रूप इज देर दट इज अट सैकेंड पोजिशन नैक्स्ट इंडोमिथासी सी इंडोल ग्रूप इज देर हियर ओके मिथेल ग्रुप इज देर हियर ओके ये सी नथिंग बट एसिटिक एसिड इज देर हियर इन नथिंग बट बेसिक न्यूक्लियस इन नथिंग बट इंडोल आई एन नथिंग बट इंडोल इंडो मिथास इन आई एन नथिंग बट आलो इंडोल ओनली ओके सो दिस इज अ नेम इंडोमिथासी वेन कम्स टू दूपैक नाम एंड क्लेचर इट कंटेन कॉर्बोक्सिलिक एसिड कॉर्बोक्सिलिक एसिड कीटोन ईथर सो एमांग दीज थ्री ग्रूप विच फंक्षनल ग्रूप विल गेट मोर प्रयारीटी नथिंग बट कॉर्बोक्सिलिक एसिड सो वी नीड टू स्टार्ट द नंबरिंग फ्रम द कॉर्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ऐक्चुअली वन टू फस्ट वी नीड टू गिव नंबरिंग टू दिस वन then carboxylic acid attached to the indole then we can go numbering to the indole that is the hetero compound 3 so this is the numbering for indole after that <coughs> so like this numbering for the phenyl group containing chlorine next comes to the iupac nomenclature acetic acid is there okay na correct this acetic acid okay on this acetic acid second position second position of acetic acid this entire substituent is there so this entire substituent is there okay na now what is there <coughs> to this acetic acid indol group is attached correct da indol group at third position hence we are writing as a 3 ail hence we are writing as a 3 ail 1h indol 3 ail next comes to the 2 methyl so second position it is containing methyl group fifth position it is containing methoxy group at one position what is there <coughs> 4 chloro at one position what is there 4 chlorophenyl okay carbonyl 4 chlorophenyl 4 chlorophenyl carbonyl group is there and okay 5 methoxy 2 methyl group so here three substituents are there these are the three substituent how we need to write the substituent as per the alphabetical order so this for this substituent that will start with letter c okay another substituent methoxy group another substituent methyl group so we need to give c letter will come first as per the alphabet then methoxy next one is methyl group okay so like that the iupac name numbering and numbering of indomethacin next sulindac 
so this is a structure of sulin deck indian see sul nothing but sulf sulfenyl group is there sulfenyl group ind nothing but indian group is there where is that indian this is a indian group next ac nothing but acetic acid is there okay so first acetic acid is there okay so that's why we need to start the numbering from the acetic acid only next indin we need to give the numbering followed by sulfenyl group containing phenyl group then comes to the iupac nomenclature acetic acid is there at second position of acetic acid what is there this entire substituent is there okay that is 1h indin 3 il c indin 3 il third position it is get substituted to acetic acid hence 3 il we are writing next comes to the next comes to the functional group that is on indin what is there see fourth position at fourth position what it contains not fourth position see on this indin this is one substituent is there okay another substituent methyl group another substituent that is fluorine so we need to write five fluoro at five position it contains fluorine group See at five position it is containing fluorine group okay at second position it is containing methyl group methyl group five position fluorine then first position it is containing what it contains four meth see four methyl sulfenyl so this is a ch3 group methyl sulfenyl group is there at fourth position followed by benzylidin so this is a benzene okay benzyl benzyl nothing but benzene that containing ch2 group we can call it as a benzene that be carbon containing double bond hence we are calling it calling as a il it is a radical id nothing but i derived e nothing but double bond is there where is a double bond here okay so like that is the name uh, iupac name for the sulin deg next comes to the pyroxicum so this is a structure of pyroxicum pyr nothing but pyridine is there stuck okay pyridine next oxic nothing but carboxy group is there carboxy amide group actually it is amide group okay oxy nothing but hydroxy okay <coughs> so this is the pyroxicum structure when comes to the numbering okay when comes to the numbering <coughs> first we need to identify the functional group so amide group is there that can be attached to the pyridine and this group so we need to give priority to this functional group only means this is we need to select as a parent chain so for this numbering is like this okay next pyridine numbering see here 1 comma 1 dioxide group is there okay 1 comma 1 dioxide 3 at third position what is there at third position amide group is there that is carboxamide third position it is containing carboxamide okay 1 comma 2 benzothiazine at one position it is containing sulfur second position it is containing as a nitrogen i n nothing but i n nothing but six membered e nothing but it is a unsaturated so it is a unsaturated so one comma two benzothiazine so two h <coughs> okay two h is there next one is at second uh, next one is what is there 
fourth position it is containing hydroxy group see fourth position it is containing hydroxy group fourth position it is containing a hydroxy group next one is 2 methyl at second position methyl group is there methyl group fourth position hydroxy group next n so on this n what is there 2 pyridinyl so 2 il second position is substituted to amide hence 2 pyridinyl 2h 1, 2 benzothiazine 3 carboxamide 1, 2 dioxide so this is the structure of pyroxicum next keto rolac keto nothing but ketone group is there roll nothing but pyrrole is there this is double bonded kind of pyrrole is there ac nothing but acetic acid <coughs> so carboxylic acid group is there and ketone group is there then among these two which one will get, get more priority meaning carboxylic acid only so numbering started with carboxylic acid substituted compound that is <coughs> here 3 will be there 4 5 so here 1 carboxylic acid 1 carboxylic acid 1 H ok 1 H pyro pyrolysin ok pyrol pyrol azin ok pyrolysin next 2 comma 3 dihydro see 2 position 3 position it is double bond is there that can be replaced with hydrogen hence 2 comma 3 dihydro fifth position what is there benzoyl fifth position is benzoyl group is there <coughs> ok so like that this is a numbering and nomenclature I pack name for the keto rolac next butazone actually here phenyl butazone ok phenyl butazone <laughs> see phenyl group is there ok 2 phenyl group is there butyl group is there ok azone as nothing but nitrogen or nothing but ketone groups ok so next <laughs> Ketone group are located in case of this heterocyclic atom. So numbering started with like that. So 3 comma 5 dione, 3 comma 5 dione, pyrrolidin, pyr nothing but nitrogen, as nothing but nitrogen, all nothing but 5 membered ring it is, holidin nothing but nitrogen containing saturated compound this is so iodine next 1 comma 2 diphenyl 1 comma 2 diphenyl it is there fourth position it is containing butyl group 1 1 2 3 4 ok butyl group is there so hence phenyl butazone next paracetamol hydroxy alcohol group is there here amide group is there so amide group will get first priority hence <coughs> we need to start numbering from amide group ok that is acetamide 1 2 ok acetamide 2 carbon containing acetamide on nitrogen what is there this entire substitution is there that is 4 hydroxy phenyl located on nitrogen next phenacetin phenyl group is there <coughs> phenyl group is there acetic acetyl group is there here CH3CO acetyl group is there in nothing but it is a ingredient ok when comes to the IUPAC name it containing amide group also it contains ether group so amide group will first get first priority hence acetamide 2 carbon containing group that is acetamide on nitrogen what is there here enter substitution what is the name of that substitution 1 2 so 4 
ethoxy phenyl 4 ethoxy C2H5 that is ends 4 ethoxy phenyl acetamide that is a phenacetin next one is tolmidine <coughs> it is a non selective okay non selective cox inhibitor <coughs> it contains toline group this is a toline group is there followed by methyl group is there so here only the methyl group it is methyl group is there <coughs> hence we can call it a toll methane so <coughs> when it comes to the IUPAC name it contains ketone carboxylic acid okay so we need to give the first priority to the carboxylic acid only one two two carbon containing next <coughs> pyrrole group so this is the numbering for pyrrole after that phenyl group <coughs> next acetic acid first one is acetic acid is there ok second position at second position of acetic acid what is there <coughs> this entire substituent is there this is the entire substitution so four myth that entire substitution is there that is acetic acid attached to the pyrrole ok acetic acid attached to the 1H pyrrole second position it is get substituted to the acetic acid next <coughs> next what is there F at fifth position at fifth position what is there 4 methyl 4 methyl phenyl or benzoyl 4, uh, 4 methyl 4 the position it is containing methyl group if keto group is there on benzene we can call it a benzoyl ok 1H pyrrole pyrrole 2 oil acetic acid along with that first position it is containing methyl group ok so that is the naming of tolmitin so with this the structure IUPAC name of uh, all inacids we have discussed in the part 2 we will discuss the structural activity relationships <coughs>